When Jalen Brown posted this video of his intense training during the offseason on his Instagram, you already knew it was about to go down. And after the first quarter of the season, it has really been going down for JB and the Boston Celtics, as he is in the midst of a career best season, setting new career highs in scoring, 26.6 points per game, and efficiency, 61% true shooting, on the highest usage rate of 31.4% of his NBA career. This season, JB has now been showing flashy moves like Jamal Crawford, getting fadeaway buckets like Dwayne Wade, and he's been dunking in transition like a young Clyde the Glide Drexler. In short, Jalen Brown has been playing like a superstar. So, in this video, we're going to break down Jalen Brown's playing style, analyze critical areas he has developed, and point out the things he needs to improve. Needs improvement, passing. To begin with, let's talk about the first thing JB needs to improve, passing. Jalen Brown is an average passer, he can assist via simple reads like this, or plays like this where he uses the drive and kick technique, or by attracting multiple defenders whenever he drives inside. In addition, for the past two years, JB has been averaging a constant 3.5 assists per game, with 2.7 turnovers per game. But this season, JB is averaging a career high of 3.4 turnovers per game. And what's crazy about this is Jalen Brown has already committed five or more turnovers seven times this season. This indicates that Brown needs to work on his passing skills to avoid making bad decisions like this. As you can see, Brown tried to drive, but there was no opening, so he stopped and looked where to pass. Instead of giving the ball to Smart or Horford, who were more open, he decided to give it to Tatum, where an obvious Jimmy Buckets is there constantly raising his hands to steal the ball without even looking at Brown. Clearly, Brown must address his turnover issues. Even Stephen A. Smith called him and Tatum out on first take about this five months ago. Somehow, someway, not only are they not scoring, but they're turning the ball over. Needs improvement, three-point shooting. The next thing that needs improvement is his three-point shooting. Now, we're not trying to say that JB can't hit any three. We know he has confidence, and sometimes he can catch fire. As seen in these clips, he can do a catch and shoot from three, size up his defender and hit a three, and even hit a three with a defender in his face. However, in some cases, he creates empty possessions because of his not-so-bad decision-making skills. In this clip, no play was executed, just pure hero ball. But this time, Tyler Hero prevailed. Moreover, his three-point percentage this season, which is 35.6, is way lower than his previous two seasons. Again, Jalen Brown is not a bad three-point shooter. It's just that he needs to make wiser decisions. Defense. Let's move on and talk about the areas he's good at. In terms of defense, Brown is actually a good defender. It just doesn't show in the stats that he's putting up. But his basketball IQ in terms of defense is on point. Here in this play, Tatum misses the layup. And as OKC moves the ball up the court, Brown lurks and anticipates the pass. Just look at how Brown intercepted that pass. Man, he made four meters look like four feet. In another clip, Jalen shows off his man-to-man -man defense skills as he steals the ball from Josh Giddy, leading him to this powerful drive on the other end of the court. Attacking. Speaking of powerful drives, this season, JB has been really showing off his off-season gains by bulldozing his defenders every game. Just look at how he forces his way through the basket in this one. He bumps his defender, makes the layup, and one, and a flex. In another clip here, Brown again drives and bulldozes Dorian Finney-Smith for a layup. Here, he shows that nobody can stop him in transition. Just look at how fast and powerful he is. Let's play that clip again. As you can see, there's still 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Plenty of time to decide and make a play against these five Heat defenders. But Brown says, five players? Easy. In addition, JB doesn't care what size you are. Look at him disrespecting Dallas' 6'10 center Dwight Powell in two consecutive possessions. Here in the first play, coming off a pass from White, JB attacks the rim despite Powell's inside presence. In the second clip, Powell switches on him. And despite Powell's wide shoulders and long arms, Brown still bulldozes Powell, and Powell goes all the way down. Probably the only time you can stop Brown on a fast break or on a drive is by fouling him. 
or by taking a charge. Because if you don't foul or take a charge from him, you might end up on a poster like the spider. JB attacking the basket more often enables him to get more foul shots attempts this season. Based on his stats, you can see that he's been getting more free throw attempts and has a higher free throw percentage this season. Rebounding Brown's rebounding this season is a little better than previous seasons. It's nothing special. He's averaging at least six defensive rebounds and one offensive rebound per game. Most of the time, that offensive rebound comes from his drive attempts. You know, sometimes he misses, sometimes he doesn't. But whenever he misses, he muscles his way to get his own rebound. In this clip, Brown drives through the basket, bumps McCollum to create space. He misses, he gets his own rebound three times before his shot finally goes in. Mid-range When it comes to hitting mid-range shots this season, JB has become elite. He has a lot of tricks in his bag. He can hit you with the pick-and-pop jumpers, the pull-up jumpers, and even the smooth fadeaways. You can say that he's been doing that for years now. Yes, you're right, but what's crazy about his mid-range game this season is that he has become a 55.4% shooter, and 63.9% of those mid-range shots are unassisted. Last year, there was some criticism about Jalen Brown's game, such as his handle being sloppy at times, and his mid-range being inconsistent. But this season, JB is a different beast. Here in this play, Jalen Brown proves that he is not just a better shooter, he also demonstrates that he has become a better ball handler. Overall, Brown's success inside the arc has been the most eye-catching feature of his spectacular year. He's always been a dynamic threat attacking the basket with a progressively expanding toolkit of mid-range counters. Still, his above 50% two-point shooting mark is next level by his standards, outperforming his second-best year by a significant margin. Brown hits 67.6 at the rim and connects on more than 55% of his mid-range shots. He's also going to the free throw line more than ever, hitting those free throws more than 80% of the time for the first time in his career. So the questions are, are we witnessing a future All-NBA player in this year's version of Jalen Brown? Or are we seeing a future MVP? Imagine JB on a different team where he shines alone and produces the numbers he's been making today. Would he be in the MVP conversation too? For years, Jalen Brown has been considered the Robin to Tatum's Batman, a sidekick, a really good one, but a second fiddle nonetheless. But today, this disrespect needs to stop. Celtics fans need to stop underappreciating JB. It's understood that Jalen Brown is not the main guy on the Celtics roster, but you tell me, who scored and assisted the first 20 points of the Boston Celtics in the fourth quarter of last year's Game 1 of the NBA Finals? Who stepped up when Tatum only scored 12 points in Game 1 of the Finals? When Tatum scored 13 points in the elimination game of the Finals, who scored 34 points? Now, these are all in the past, but how about this season? Well, in a previous game against Miami, Tatum underperformed again. But guess who stepped up? This man. This is what JB does. He keeps his head down, stays humble, and delivers results. Celtics fans need to stop regarding Tatum as the only main guy. Let's face it, Brown and Tatum are arguably the best duo in the league, and neither deserves to be regarded as any one sidekick. For all we know, Jalen Brown is becoming a superstar, and it's time we stop thinking of him as the Celtics' second fiddle. NBA fans, remember the name, Jalen Marcellus Brown. <laughs>